morning, Andy. Yeah, morning. Spilled coffee on my slacks in a hurry off the radio run. Good morning, officer. And a good morning to you, sir. You're in a good mood. That's because I just come from the hospital where Theo's blood test was normal. Normal, normal? Within normal range. <sighs> Andy, that's fantastic. Ah, oh, well, at least you got coffee. You know, and the best I did is tap water mouth up under the faucet. Yeah. What? Oh, and here's the first cop on the scene. What's up, North? Another dead cabbie. Gunshot to the head. Jogger over there comes up to the cab. Sees the driver lying there, croaked. Croak? What's that, North? Some kind of frog reference? Finds the cabbie dead, Andy. Quit breaking my balls. Hey, 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 I'm just kidding. You gotta lighten up, pal. So, uh, probably went down last night. Perp has him driving here, and then he shoots him. Yeah, that must have been when he got croaked. That's well, a dangerous occupation, driving a hack. And me thinking of doing that when I retire. One behind his ear, the usual for cabbies. Rigor mortis started. He's dead three, four hours, probably. Hey, a big hole. Figure a large caliber bullet. No money. Let's get him out of there as soon as crime scene's finished up. I'll get him to the morgue. You know, it's beautiful down here by the river. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hey. I was downstairs turning in some stop and frisks. I saw you come in. Oh, uh, we caught a homicide. Cab driver. So, are we still on for tonight? I'm making dinner at your place? Sure. Hell yeah. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Check this out. Uh, now, what the hell is this? It looks like a brokerage firm. I think it's about your cab driver homicide. Hey, you got your ears lowered. Sip with some Sorensen will work on the homicide this morning. How's it going? Taxi and limousine commissions pointed up 100 grand. Information leading to the arrest and conviction of anyone killing a cab driver off the recent pattern. We're assuming cops are ineligible. Burrow had Captain Bass put together a task force. Cabby got shot last week, Midtown South. Perp used a 357 tied to six other incidents. What kind of incidents? This one gun's linked to a convenience store stick up in the drive-by. Midtown South Cabby's lucky he's still breathing. I one just now. That could have been a 357. We got ballistics standing by waiting on a bullet from the morgue. We should find out real quick if there's a match. Bottom line worries, we got a whack job. A uh, whack job with a grudge against cab drivers. We've been on this week's detective. Homicide squad, robbery, intelligence. It's your case. No one's looking to jump your play. We're just hoping to share information. Absolutely. I got my top-level people, my best interrogators. John, our PAA will get you situated. Okay. Everybody's okay with this? Anything we can do, Captain. Over here, please. There you go. You okay, Andy? I'm fine. Why, don't they seem okay? Well, you don't seem quite yourself. <laughs> then who would I be? I mean, if I'm not myself, there must be somebody. <clears throat> Theo's blood test was normal. Hey, that is great, Andy. Thanks. Look, I wouldn't worry about this task force thing. Um, cab driver shot, possible serial killer. This high profile, so I'll you... tell you one thing. Any major interviews, they get run by us. How about we go get caught up on them other incidents? Huh? Yeah, okay. See, maybe did they miss something at Midtown South? Huh? Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's go talk to these top-level people. Let them explain how it's done to us poor working slobs. How about you, Danny? Are you okay? Uh, Diane and me, we gotta locate this girlfriend at Denby's, Lauren, before IAB moves on us. You figure Metavoy gave away the store? Nah, Greg's tougher than he looks. Martin's more or less told him and Colin we don't find this girl to confirm our version. We might as well hand in our badges. Listen, nothing bad is gonna happen. You know this. I do. I'll get us caught up by the experts, huh? Okay, Andy. 